In the ball drop experiment, we're in the gymnasium and we dropped a ball against a black backdrop marked with meter increments. To ensure consistency, we dropped the ball three times and here are the three videos we recorded. When we play them simultaneously, we can see that the results are consistent. So first of all, we're going to analyze our video to get the data that we want from it. So we're going to use the equation um, V equals to G times T. Now you've seen this equation before. Um, what do you guys think V might be? Yeah. Velocity. Excellent. Um, but in fact, because we've got the object falling just straight down, we will use the other term, which is speed. So we don't need the direction. Um, what about G in this formula? Yes. The acceleration due to gravity. Excellent. So that's what we want to find. And what's the other term that's right behind there? T. Yes, Ash. Time. Very good. So in our data, we'll first need to figure out the speed. And we need to do that by looking at our video. And we're going to get the data from here by generating a table with six columns. OK, the trick is that we will need to convert the frame rates that we can see on the video to actual time. The frame rates of the camera that we used was at 96 frames a second. So as we find the differences in the frames, how are we going to be able to convert frames to time? Noah, what do you think? Well, we'll probably see that the times elapse between the two markers, between like the first marker and the second marker, and then divide that by 96, which were the frames per second, and that'll give us the time that's elapsed. Fantastic. And so that's what we're going to do. Now, the trick is that we need to get the ball right on the white line. So it is entirely possible that sometimes, because of the frame rate, we might catch the ball just before the white line or just after. So as a group, you'll need to decide which frame fits the best. OK, so is it really 116 or 117? Yeah, 117. Yeah. First marker, frame 117. Frame 117. Yep. 143, marker 2. Yep. And yep. then? About by 96. Perfect. And that gets you point yep. 0.271. And so that time there for the first mark would be our time. So zero. Perfect. Now it's your turn to analyze the video using the same process. 